Hey everyone, something a little different today. I know you guys are used to always seeing me having stuff put into my face, but today to switch things up, I am going to show you the process with Dr. Jordan of dissolving filler. Hi everyone, I'm going to be injecting hyaluronidase into Natasha's upper lip to help dissolve it. This is something that can happen with somebody who's had a series of lip treatments over several years where the filler can migrate. This can happen to any injector, any type of filler, so we just have to start fresh again. So if you watch my stories, you know I am a lover of lip injections. I have been getting them a couple times a year for about 18 years straight now. And like Jordan said, it's not because of the injector or because of the product you're getting, just naturally over time, that filler can just sort of spread out a little bit. And I think you called it sort of a shelf effect on the lip is what you can get where it kind of sticks out the upper bit a little bit. I don't really have it that much of it. You do see it a lot more um, in some people, but it's sort of over time, the spreading can sort of build up. Um, and it's not something that's super noticeable, but just if you want to start from a blank slate, a fresh canvas, and just really um, have a new starting ground for getting that exact shape that you want with your lips. It's kind of like a fresh start. So that's what we are going to do today after 18 years of consecutive lip injections. And don't think if you're new to lip injections that you're going to have to dissolve them. This isn't something that everyone needs or every time you get your lips done, this happens. Like I said, I've been getting them done a few times a year for 18 years straight. I've never once dissolved my lips but I am starting to notice a little bit of shelving in my lip here. Um, and just for the purposes of showing you guys the process, we thought we would dissolve it. And like I said, again, just sort of having that fresh blank canvas to start from to get that perfect shape that I'm looking for now. So I'm gonna start injecting Natasha's upper lip with hyaluronidase. This is gonna start dissolving the upper lip. So Natasha, I want you to be massaging your lip for the next 20 minutes, and I want you to apply adequate pressure so that the hyaluronidase will dissolve the hyaluronic acid, which is the filler. You might find that your lips are gonna be a little bit more swollen today for the next couple hours, but the true size of your new lips with a clean slate will be tomorrow morning. You haven't seen your original lips since you were 18 years old. I have not seen them in a long time. I'm excited, but scared. <laughs> <laughs> excited for the fresh start. So it's been a few days since we've dissolved Natasha's lips. Today we're going to be adding filler to them. It's definitely been interesting to see what my lips look like dissolved, because like I said, I haven't seen that in about 18 years, but I am also definitely ready to refill it for sure and have that volume back. So I'm excited to start fresh. Here we go, I'm excited to have an upper lip again. Three. Okay, so I am back. After dissolving, I came in for my filler and we were starting with our blank canvas and recreating that shape of the lip. So I have a really defined vermilion border right now, which I'm loving, but I like to break it up into two appointments instead of one and just going too big at once. So I let everything settle, let all the swelling go down, see what I'm left with. Loving the shape, but I feel like I want just a little bit more fullness. So I'm in for my second session now so we can finish them off. Hey guys, I am here for one of my final touch-ups. It's been quite a while since we originally dissolved my lips and we sort of rebuilt that shape. And now I'm gonna go in and just do a tiny little bit more, but even more exciting is I'm going to try the Botox Lip Flip. So I've never actually done this before, so I'm super excited and I'm hoping that it'll just give me a little bit more height on the peak of my upper lip. So here we go. And if you want more information on the Botox Lip Flip, check out our Botox Lip Flip video. 